William Street, this is a quick video just showing you how I expect your mousetrap car body to be laid out. You can see right here I have my car body. It started with a blank piece of wood. And I've drawn on here a couple really important things. Where I want the mousetrap to be located, where I'm going to put my front axle, my front wheels, and where I'm going to put my back axle, my back wheels. To uh, do all this, I used a tool called a square to make sure that all of my lines were perpendicular to the car body and that will make sure that they, in the end my wheel axles my front and back wheel axles are parallel to each other. I trace where my mousetrap is going to go and my last important step here is to know that I need to do some cutting for my front wheels to fit where I said they're going to fit because right now the body is too wide. So I know I need to cut this space off right here because that's that was what my design was after I did some brainstorm sketching. So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to shade where I plan on cutting this out. <clears throat> and remember you guys have to have me check this, a teacher check, before you go and cut this out because I'm going to make sure that I know where the front wheels, the back wheels, and the mouse trap are going to go. So I'm going to go cut this and then I'll be back. I'm back with my cut car body and you guys can see that I cut out this shaded area. Now I'm going to just dry fit everything to make sure that it's still going to fit where I said it's going to fit. So my mouse trap is still going to go where I said the mouse trap was going to go, uh, right in this mouse trap location, so that fits well. And my front wheels, these are an example set that I've been leaving on the tables. My front wheels will still fit right where I said they would and there's still enough room for it to move left to right. Now on to the next step which is going to be to attach the mousetrap. That's the following video.